Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is TrophyNet, and welcome to the Ringed City DLC for Dark Souls 3. So the final, the final DLC for Dark Souls, probably for a long time. So uh, probably even the last bit of Dark Souls we'll get for uh, quite a long time. So I don't know anything about this DLC, so I haven't even seen footage of it yet. Of it yet. Maybe a bit of the trailer, but that's about it. So I'm going in completely blind. And it seems like one of those pilgrims is over here. Is this Yol or does he just look like him? Oh, your head's square on your shoulders. It's it? not Yol. I thought that clamoring tin can was the last. But here we go again. What is it you want from this old stone-hamped hag? I've nothing for you, not a smithereen. I just like to stand here and take in the view. Um, do I have business with you? Well, that came out of nowhere. You think an old stone-humped hag would be brimming with goodies? <laughs> I've none of that, not a smithereen. Oh, uh, you, you do? You do sell items, which isn't... What is this? Spitleaf Greatsword. A long-handled long hand, long greatsword that made its way from a distant land. Crafted entirely with steel, making it exceedingly heavy. Spitleaf refers to the shape of the great blade and its resemblance to the veins of a leaf. Wind wheel spin weapon vigorously above head and sweep foes and transition with normal or strong attack for continued spin attacks, which... Whip up wind and gain momentum, strengthening subsequent attacks. Sounds awesome. So I'm uh, sensing a bit of a tree team here. At the close of the Age of Fire, all lands meet at the end of the Earth. Great kingdoms and anemic townships will be one and the same. The great tide of human enterprise, all for naught. That's why I'm so taken by this grand sight. This must be what it's like to be a god. So yes, this is the effect of the uh, merging of the land, so all the the lands and areas from previous games have been smashed together to look like this. And this actually does look a lot like the ending of the game, because there's even that uh, that uh, dark sign in the sky over there, as it is in the ending of the game. And there's a big tree over there as well. Might be some place we're gonna visit as well. Does she does she have anything else to say? Stonehelm tag. Oh, if you just can't stop yourself, at least hear this. Far below, there's a deep, dark hole carved out of a tree. There we go. From time to time, voices brim from the depths of the cavity even now. Mutterings of the very demon that Prince Lorien spoke of, I'm sure. Horrible sounds of an afflicted thing, yet cursing men. So Lorien is one of the final bosses of the game. And he lost the function of his legs when he fought a demon, a fire demon. At the close of the age of fire, ships. Yeah, okay. That's why they keep your marbles intact, love. Thank you, Stone Hump Tag. Until I lose mine. Okay. Take the plunge. So this is the way forward, probably, because that's a, a developer note. So yeah, let's take the plunge. Here we go. Oh, we don't even take damage from that, because it does look high enough to take damage. There's nothing else here. That is a dragon. Doesn't seem to be moving, but that is a dragon. Here we go. Nope, still no damage. So we land in this pile of ash, and that's why we don't take damage, probably. Okay. This is interesting. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I know what's going on. 
This guy is responsible for all this. Did they all die? Jesus. Oh! Got hit by something. Ow. Yeah, okay. Ah, there's another one. Yeah, over there. Nope, you shall not. Oop. I actually create blood when I do that, but apparently nothing else. So with that dragon, dragon uh, buried in the ashes. Ugh. Okay then. So creepy skeletal people. Fair enough. What's next? I'm wondering. Because that tree is looking very intriguing. Oh. What the hell? Okay. I'm gonna heal. Ooh, heavy. Oh, wow. Ooh, that was bigger than I anticipated. No. There we go. Ooh. He has a sort of nest in his body. Okay. Titanite chunk. If he respawns, that's actually really nice. And another Titanite chunk. So yeah, marking uh, the fact that this is a very high level area. Because I didn't do a lot of damage to that guy. Hopefully, I am a high enough level to even do this. Because we got New Game Plus, by the way. So this kind of looks like the archives. Aquamarine dagger. Hopefully nothing attacks me while I'm doing this. A dagger fitted with an aquamarine crystal, engraved with a prayer in the old tongue to ward of incident. Perhaps it was a parting gift given to one sent off on great travels. Crystal blade released magic from the aquamarine crystals, creating a fleeting blue crystal blade, lengthy enough to swing as a straight sword. Huh. So dexterity and intelligence based, and it does magic damage as well. That's actually really cool. Might actually try that out one time. You know what? Let's try that out now. As a replacement for the Uchi Katana. There we go. So if I do this, and then two hand it. Oh, that's actually really cool. Can I actually do that? No. What the hell just happened? Oh yeah, I, did, I boosted my staff, that's why... Uh, that is interesting. I'm just gonna try that out in a second. Don't know how much damage that's gonna do. Um... Is there another way to go here, or...? Okay... Seems a bit of a dead end. What did I miss, or did I just... Oh no, I think we can go down here, no? No, no, no. Okay. I don't really know where to go, then. Regret ahead. Oh. This looks like it's gonna drop down, but it's the only way I can actually go. Yep, here we go. Holy shit. Okay, that was awesome. That was really, really cool. So we dropped down into a sideways building through the window. 
Oh. Soul of an old hand. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Um, where's the little guy? Where's the... And does he only do that twice then? Oh. This guy met an untimely fate. Okay, that it came from the same direction we did, Twinkling Titanite. Thank you, I suppose. So this looks like this once was a library. Oh. I recognize this place. This is part of the... Because we went through that window in the main game. And then we went along that walkway to the right. And that where the that's what, where the uh, Black Hand was after that area. This is not looking good. What the frick? Angels? My spells don't reach. Take the plunge. Jesus. Okay, so you can't kill those. Oh, oh, oh. Lightning urn? Jesus Christ. So is this guy alone or what? Can I kill the angel? I have a feeling magic isn't just... It's being absorbed. Sort of. I think I'm gonna go inside the church here first. Whatever this is. Duo ahead, yeah. Might be able to take one of them out. That's not good. Get out, get out. Yeah, and I got him. So we know these guys. Jesus. There we go. Knight's taken care of. And they're all overgrown with vines, which is interesting. So the tree team is uh, continuing. And they were praying at this altar. Soul of a champion. Of course. Can't destroy this thing, so... I don't think there are any secrets here. So there's a lot of side areas where you don't necessarily need to go. I feel like I need to destroy something here. So we need to go in the direction of that angel. I think the easiest way is just going to be to book it.
Yep, dropping down. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Yep. I thought the way forward was gonna be that way. Let's drop down. Through the window. Let's just go for this guy. Because I don't want him transforming into a monstrous spirit again. Oh shit! Is that an attack from these guys or... I kind of felt that like that was... Dropped over from each other but... So... There's this tower in front of me as well. And I feel like this has to be some way... Because he's looking in a certain direction. Yeah. When he sees me, he's gonna fire. Yeah, just go away. So he's looking in the wrong direction now. Oh shit! Oh, they actually take you. Jesus. Okay then, can I smash one of the windows here? Doesn't seem like it. So I'm still guessing there's something over here that I missed. Okay. This is really complicated. Did I? I didn't take my souls, did I? There we go. Okay. Is there a way out that I missed? Seems to be more up there. Can't really do anything here, though. Oh, I kind of completely missed the exit over there. Okay. Give me the guy with the normal shield first. And take out this guy. Oh, he dropped something. Lotric Knight Gauntlets. Confirming that these this is supposed to be Lotric then. Just fast enough to bypass his... Uh, Shield smash, and there we go. Okay, another Titanite chunk. And now I'm not gonna be a blind ass and just go outside the door here because I completely missed this doorway. Are there more angels? So, we kind of know from the base game that there was kind of a civil war going on in Lutric between the. Well, the soldiers that followed the Angelic Belief and the Lutric Knights. Shit, 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 shit. There we go. And uh, that caused a lot of the Lutric Knights to die, so that's the empty armors we found. And then there were those fat knights that started to transform into angels. I'm wondering if those flying guys are actually supposed to be the next evolution of those angel knights so there's an item up there i can go down that path but there's something over here as well did i miss no thought i missed a few items there's an item over here oh okay so that was just the the man over there There we go. So these guys are still respawning, aren't they? So it's just gonna be over here.
Oh, I'm so gonna die. Die, die. Getting outside. Yeah, they're still respawning. I don't see who I can kill to stop them. Let's get out of this place. I think I found everything and they keep respawning. Oh, shit! Okay then. Never mind then, that was something. So there seems to be a path over there as well, but I need to be higher to reach that. There's a ladder, might be a shortcut later on. Okay, and the world is actually completely crashing down. What the hell? What is that? Are they still following me? No. I'm just gonna use the binoculars to see what is over there. Ah, damn it. <laughs> of course, I'm just... Just out of reach. There, that thing. What the hell is that? That looks horrifying. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do, but hey. Did that kill the... It did. Okay. So that killed the angel. Which is good, I suppose. I'm wondering if that kills them permanently. Or if I need to do that again sometime. Is that another take the plunge? Yeah. Okay, taking the plunge. That was not a real plunge now, was it? Except for the fact that it was... Ooh, there's another pilgrim down. Oh, ow, yeah. Might expect a second attack, no? Wait, with the chains and everything? I feel like these guys were pilgrims once. I'm running. Is that a pool of... Ah, oh, fuck the ass attack. Come on. Jesus. Shit. Whew. These big guys are tough. Like really, really tough. So more dead pilgrims. And as I said while we were fighting, those skeletons are starting to look like dead pilgrims. The dead cursed pilgrims. Another titanite chunk. They are handing those out. Don't like the blood stain. The the that, yeah, that pool, I don't like it. Hello? Homeward bone? Take the plunge, you won't die. Look at this place. And it's pointing us down. I love how it looks like Uncle Gale again. Jesus. A windmill? 
That looks like the... Um, oh, I don't know the name of it again. There's an area in Dark Souls 2 that has a large windmill. Um, here we go. Oh, God. Yeah, apparently just ash breaks your fall. And there's another bonfire, so that's really good. How far... How far am I already? Okay, so let's just... Take the plunge. Don't take damage, weirdly. Gravity must work a bit strange in here. So, let's light the bonfire. I'm just gonna quickly go to Firelink Shrine and uh, use my soul. So, see you guys in a second. So, we're back at, in the drag heap, but the bonfire gave us uh, the name of this area, which confirms my suspicion. Because this area is called the Earthen Peak Ruins. So, Earthen Peak was the name of the area I was looking for. Um, so, from Dark Souls 2. I'm actually gonna go up first and see if we can't reach anything over here. Because this was a sort of... If you never played Dark Souls 2, this was sort of a prison of sorts. Uh, that was running on acid. Guarded by uh, an evil princess that was cursed into a horrible Medusa-like monster, which was, of course, the boss of this area. There's more of those poison thingies over there. Which is fitting, because, of course, poison was part of Earth and Peak. And that's why these guys are coming back. There we go. Firebombs. Anything else? Because it, it, it was actually one of the more ingenious things of Dark Souls 2, because you had to light fire to the windmill itself by hitting it with a torch or a, a fire weapon. And uh, yeah, that calls you to move forward, because otherwise you wouldn't move forward. Oh shit, where the hell is that even coming from? So there's another angel. There's even an item up there. Okay, that noise is horrifying. Is he coming closer? You can't see me. Just out of reach. Leave. Please, leave. So yeah, she's definitely checking out this area. This is cool. This... It gives it stealth elements. How the hell... Oh. It's not just attacking us. This is creepy. So there's a dead thief over there. It's going to the right. I'm gonna... Try and move left. If it's going to the left, I'm gonna do the opposite. What is in her face? There's like something, like a stick in her face. Is she just gonna do that all day long? Yeah, I think I need to go in there. She doesn't see me. So when she turns... Yeah, I'm going. Nope, I'm inside the building. There we go. I always have trouble with these thieves. Those guys are really annoying. An amber. Fair enough, we're getting kicked in the ass about. There we go. That looks like a swamp area. Great. Oh, no. Jesus. Um, um, seriously? Okay, then. I'm gonna have to book it. Desert Pyromancer gloves. Is 
If we're staying in an area too long, they start to use that. I'm gonna have to go on the tree here. Yeah, that is wow. That is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, those angels are really, really annoying. I'm gonna take a little break. So when we get back, I'm gonna try and get through the Ashen Peak ruins and beyond. But before that, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you next time when we continue the Ringed City DLC. Goodbye.